Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the, the well, Stream A Games. We've got Secret vs. TSC Game 2. Of course, if you want to continue following LGD vs. RGV, I believe was the game. It's over on Stream 2. And if you don't understand that, type M-O-N-K-A-S. Press enter in the Twitch chat and hold down Control and W to enjoy the uh, the most amazing things the world has to offer. But for now, it's myself and Fog. Uh, we're ready for this New. game. Let's go. What are we gonna see? Are we gonna see we some got, difference? We, we got an elder. We time already back. got changes. Yeah. Yo, Secret yeah. seems to be looking at Spat Rider as one of the best heroes in the tournament so far. They in their series yesterday, and whenever they did not have first pick, when the other team had first pick, they banned out the Bat Rider every single time. No change up here. And now TNC making the adjustment. They feel like Yapsor's other Titan just caused them too much yeah. trouble and actually sieging and ending the game. You it's know, pretty good in the laning stage. And yeah, he got. I mean, he got some it down. great stomps yeah. off overall. He got. Not really the crazy R splitters, he did get a big one at the end, that three-man R splitter, but it was overall just that stall mechanic. He let his team just get back into the game, and it was super noxious. And now this hero actually gets through. This is one of the ones that has the highest win rates at this tournament so far, the Nyx Assassin. Yeah, it's banned out so many times in the first phases. And, and yeah, as you say, pretty much every game that it's either picked or banned. Yeah. And getting it through TNC, they're, they're, they'll be happy with that one. I personally really think this hero should only be really ran as a four. I think there's some situations okay. where you can run him yeah. as an offlaner. I just think that his skill set, it's the same as a support and as a as a, as a core. Like when you're playing the three and you're playing support, your, your role is the same. Your vendetta is used as like a scanning mechanic and you're not really farming. So you get behind and behind, which you don't really want your offlaner to do so much. It's like the same kind of thing as a clockwork. You know, you don't want to show on the map. So I, I personally like that hero as a four. There are still situations where it can call for as an offlane. The secret respond with the Kunkka, also one of the heroes that these two heroes actually they have the highest win win rate at the tournament. Oh Next really? They are the two highest. Yeah, let me oh, let me right. let me check again yeah, just yeah, to confirm. Check I checked this, it just check before. Check just before. With the well, with the, of course the most pick rate. Sure. Yeah, we're ignoring the the one yeah. six heroes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So yeah, twelve yeah. wits are twelve games on Nyx with an eighty three percent and eleven games on Kunkka with an eighty percent. Pretty crazy. So Earthshaker gets grabbed up. Just a very Strong hero, but right away, this is already telling what Secret's plan is a little bit at least. A little bit, because it could be Kazu, could yeah. be uh, Yapso. Well, the Kunkka is Yapso, right? And then the Earthshaker would be I guess either Kazu yeah, or know. mid one. We have seen mid one play the mid Earthshaker as yeah. well, so that is the one uh, kind of thing. I, I, I get it. Have we ne Does Puppy never play the, the Kunkka then? I, I don't think that they played it that often to say that to, that we can say that he's never played okay. it. As far so as that, I've that, seen, yeah. Yapso plays the Kunkka. Okay. Okay. Yeah. More, more than likely, Kezu shake. Yep. TNC gets themselves Rubik Nix. Well, Nix we already talked about, but the Rubik is super good to steal both of these spells and just to kind of mess up with the combo, too. I mean, Kunkka and Earthshaker have some of the best spells that you can steal, the, be the Fissure or any of Kunkka's spells. Like, yeah, it's you, like you can't cover anything up is giving amazing. away a spell, yeah, because everything's great. I mean, of course, the boat is the best one, so sure. X can have its situations where it can be even better. If you have the proper lineup that works with it. Oh. it. I'm targeting the, the joke ban, a hero that we've seen too much of. This guy's got for a couple of games, but definitely not the I, I pick that's normally sought after. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mean, just great Shaker. versus Kunkka and Shaker. True. Yeah, you're right, yeah. I'm getting, getting to trap. The drow actually going. Team Secret. I guess one that yeah, TNC have run in the past. They do like their drown strats. Wow, they even still ban the Invoker too. That I mean, mid one had such a presence and such an impact That's, in that last game. It, I mean, it, yeah, it, you're right Makes to be sense. a bit surprised because it's like they have a Nyx Assassin, yeah. one of the, the best heroes against the Invoker. But, but it's just in charge of the game. But the power, yeah. just what yeah. mid one actually caused in that game. Like the few pickoffs he got on the Tinker, getting a free melee racks yeah. or free racks in the bottom lane, and then just his team fight prowess was too high. So I, it's understandable to ban the Invoker. That hero just gets so absurd in late late stages. We'll see where Team Secret go now with their pick. You say we're, we're expecting this to be the the support off lane off oh, first two. Secret, do they want to reveal one of their cores? King obviously getting it banned out or taken away from them by TNC. Uh, no, they are going to pick the Io. So oh, there we have so, it. Okay, so now we, we haven't seen much Io, have we? It's been versus like, the teams that play it, that play it consistently. It's banned heavily. Yes. I know GH. I was just looking. That gets he, ba that gets banned. GH got it one game apparently. Oh, just get now, it and free. he absolutely destroyed the whole game. So <laughs> I think if you have a player who's a yeah. specialist on the Io, this hero can. 
honestly just take over the whole game because his movements are natural. The bounty runes make it just so much easier for you to get your bottle fill ups. You can have a crazy impact. That being said, though, I have not seen Seeker play it too much. I've seen Yapsor play it, I think, no. once or twice. I mean, at least you imagine Puppy will play the Ayo Yapsor will play the, the Kunko. Would you? I don't know Maybe now, actually. The other way around. That's the thing yeah. is now I don't, I'm not really too certain. Yeah. Now they at least have they have this, you know, they, they can X the Ayo. So what they do to the relocates to save people, they can X the Ayo and save him as well. So that's a cool kind of combo they can throw out there with that we've seen people do in okay. the past. Yeah. And they have the global setup. They have the Earthshaker Kunkka to set up for relocates. Could be pretty interesting. I wonder what they're going to pair with it now. I mean, there's definitely ways. I mean, again, the, obviously Nyx Assassin just being strong across the board. There's a lot you can do again, uh, as a Nyx to punish the Io, isn't yeah. it? You can hunt it down on the back with a Vendetta and cause issues for him flying around. With the, you know, once the balls are out, he's got to be careful about that spike carapace. Yeah. Maybe Secret goes for something like a CK. I think yeah, that could be okay. really strong yeah. this game, actually. Pairs really well with the Io. Good versus Nyx and Rubik. They don't really have damage to deal with the Phantasm at later stages. I mean, it's only two heroes, so we'll be able to find out what else TNC has planned. But it looks like it could be a pretty good idea for Secret. And I know MP does like this, uh, the Chaos Knight. He has his very intricate heroes that he likes specifically. TNC really going into their reserve time here. Down to the last 20 seconds of it. Yeah. There we go. Finally comes out and it's actually going to be the Timbersaw. Very nice, of course. There's three strength, three strength yeah. heroes. Uh, that that is also a hero that Io really does struggle to deal with. Yeah. So you can, that that is I think that's a perfect pick from TNC. Yeah. If you can like lane the timber versus let's say I yeah. mean a CK Io or something like that, the timber can do super well. That being said though, there is a good amount of magic burst already coming out from Team Secret within the first two True. within the first three heroes. And they have got control with the X mark, yeah. which is very nice in that sense as well. But where do they go from here? It's and it is a it is a third pick timber. So you reveal that timber and this allows the big counter picks to come out, like the Ursa, which is Well, this is someone that can what, bully the timber out of the lane. The, yeah, the best yeah. hero versus timber, so like pretty much in the game. Yeah. Not only just in the laning phase, but later stages as well. Yeah, I guess later stages you do you can get kited a bit, but ideally you want to be matched up versus the Timber, and you're going to be playing very far ahead as an Ursa in comparison to that Timber. So. And your team's got that control to, yeah. to kind of make sure that you don't get kited too much. That Precisely. They can lock down that Timber and allow the Ursa to beat into him. So. And it's also a super good hero versus Nyx and Rubik. Rubik does not get any good spells to steal from Ursa whatsoever. Enrage is, no? Enrage is okay, I guess, to save yourself, but everything else is kind of moot. And Nyx Assassin can suffer as well. Like, if it's a Nyx offlane, Oh, there's your favorite. Yes! The Pugna I get to through. cast a Pugna. Oh, so I'm this so hero, what, picked six times <laughs> right so far? We believe in it lost one game. Uh, it's been picked, I think, maybe more now. Maybe more Let now. me refresh and just make sure. So let's just find, find the Pugna. Pugna is six with one wasp. Yes. So okay. 83% win so, so what's the pro? So obviously this is uh, a hero that this kind of good against the Earth. Well, the Decrep is very annoying. Forces the Earth to have to build that Diffusal. Yes. Um, where, where are we going to see it lane? So we expect to want this to be a, a mid Pugna off lane Timbersaw. Would you say? Oh, actually, we don't really what, where know. Are we, where are we putting this? You know what I mean? TNC. That is the problem. They do have some lane lane issues. I think it's more than likely the mid Pugna because how speedy yeah. he is. He's not really susceptible. But if he gets caught by like any kind of stun, and they can just kind of run him down, especially with like a tethered Ursa, if that is the case. Nothing really crazy specific that the Pugna is amazing versus either. Like he, I mean, versus the Ursa, yes, but versus the other three, it's like they're okay. It's the Nether Ward is obnoxious, sure. but it's not like these aren't three big. In, there's no int heroes. No, like, no one's going to be. Ideally, you want to be like crazy the Pugna spells. versus int with the Nether Ward is yeah. the is the superpower. But yeah, Decrep is great versus Ursa. Yeah, and they at least have a building hitter. Which Timbersaw and Nyx, you're ready. Like, uh oh, we have no objective taking. We need somebody to be able to do that. So the Pugna can kind of solve that issue a little. And the Decrep is obviously super nice for the Timber. You're making it easier to hit his spells, the yeah. boost on the damage. <laughs> Gonna allow the timber to go even more ham. Yeah. In these fights. So I mean, well, most so. of his are pure damage, but yeah, when you get like the shock. Oh, that's true. The, um, yeah. If the you get the whirling magic, isn't it? No, like, the chakram's pure. The it's um, good. it's if you get the whirling death not near trees. It's okay. Not magic. Oh, Sun King actually gonna be banned out. So is Secret are looking at this and they're expecting the timber pugna to be the the safe lane in the mid, respectively, by with the, with the respect to that that Sun King ban. TNC themselves banning out the TA. So indeed, expecting MP to be taking the Ursa to the safe lane rather than mid one taking it mid, then Aya back up. I mean, definitely something that they could switch up if they want to sort of get some sort of a matchup secret. They, they could take the Ursa Aya into the mid lane. I think so. It does seem like it's going to be the Pugna mid since they, with that ban. That kind of indicates that. Okay. 
So we'll but then that makes it so it's timber sauce. Timber sauce. Okay, they, I guess could they can be. still change it up because we don't know where Nick's is. Yeah, and they this could, they could do like an aggro try. Oh Actually, my goodness. Naga, Naga final siren. pick. Oh. Okay, so it definitely feels. I don't think I've seen a draft like this before. Really, really a TNC with this, this, this sort of high action, you know, timber sauce, pugner, and then bam. So Naga siren put in at the end. So timber off lane? It must be. Are they running like an aggro? They they Timber maybe could City. run an aggro Pugna Rubik Nyx Assassin. I think that might Timber be the, the case. Mid. I think that might be what they're doing. Okay. I'm not too certain. They could always put the Naga mid, you know, depending on what secret pick here. So a lot of flexibility in the lanes from TNC. Yeah, they're playing versus Kunkka Isle. These two heroes don't really have great damage dealing in the laning phase, so maybe they do try to contest the lane, but okay, they there go for the go. last pick Shadow Fiend for Mr. Mid one there. So, knowing that the Shadow Fiend is definitely going to be the mid lane, if you're TNC, who are you going to put against? It is going to be the Pugna. Yeah, so, Pugna. this is a lane that what well, the Pugna does pretty well in. You can believe they yeah. the SF out. So, I would imagine this would be aggressive tri lane, right? And you put the Timber in a 1v1 versus Shaker. I would. I mean, I, they, it's the thing is that they're double melee yeah. too. Their, their tri lane's not crazy strong either, but that at least gets Timber not to get like shut down. Or maybe they just accept the fact that Timber's going to be shut down a bit. But then it's you're putting Timber versus the Ursa. Huh. I don't think that they want to have yeah, Timber versus Ursa. I know, I see what you mean. Yeah, you want the you know Timber I mean? versus Kezu. Yeah, exactly. That, yeah, that, that I think the aggro tri lane from TNC is, is what they want to have happen. But I guess well, okay. the question is, is Secret dodge it? Yeah, that's Secret the thing. Secret themselves could try and move over. They want to have the Timber matchup versus the Earthshaker somehow. Yeah. Just in some type of matchup. We don't know where the lane will be, but we'll see how they end up like dodging each other and how it'll end up. TP warding will be pretty important in this start of the game so they can at least see where the lane matchups are. So we'll probably see... Rubik will probably see 1437 TP or, or Tim's TP out and get a ward out so they can at least watch that movement of where that tri lane is going to be positioned. The mid bomb final pick, the, the, the Shadow Fiend certainly can, can kind of work both ways with the Pugna Khan. It's certainly that decrep, you can't use it defensively because the, the magical damage that yeah. mid bomb can offer through it is still incredibly sizable. You can bully pretty hard as a Pugna versus Shadow Fiend because you have just much higher base damage. You have. Okay. I mean, your animation's okay. He has races. It's like the first few levels, Pugna can do really well, but then once Shadow Feet is able to just like shove the lane out, he's always going to catch. He's up. always going to catch up. Exactly. Turn to the jungle. She's there as well. And, uh, of course, just pu Puppy, who is going to be playing on the island. Puppy Isle, and he's got Kuka. he's got the set too. He's got the arc. I am just. I'm honestly just going to click on Cuckoo and just then no one else. So all you want. I'm just watching Pugna. You're yeah, watching the Pugna. Pugna for days. See what he does. Yeah, I'm a hero. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. A big warm welcome to you all as you tune in and get ready to sit down for game two with myself and Fog. Secret versus TNC. Let's see what the lanes end up being. Who's going to find that favorable matchup? That really is the question at the moment. Kezu is heading up to the top lane on the Shaker. And uh, yes, I think, you know, TNC are reading it. They have got the Timber heading that way. Yep. So they are looking to indeed get that match up. The question is if Secret switch it up and do want to try and avoid <laughs> having this very unfavorable uh, Shaker versus Timber lane. The indicator that we, like, just like we were saying, this is exactly what TNC is thinking. Yeah. Sam H starts the TP scroll. So it's like, I have to be matched up versus their Shaker or I'm like, my I, game I, is Because look at this, Secret literally, literally they see start it moving. and they say, yeah, we what, have we to know. not let this yeah. matchup happen. <laughs> but did you, with that, what, so he's got the TP, so he's, he's going to move. He's he going to move no move. matter what happens. It's going to be a question of who stops, you know, playing the musical lanes first. Yeah, pretty much. They go for the smoke even now. They're trying to get aggressive level yeah. one. Since it is a Shadow Fiend level one, it is relatively weak. He doesn't really have anything to give to the table. I mean, it's guaranteed. Earthshaker's moving him. away too. If Kezu's not there, uh oh, mid one. That's a perfect Goodbye. start. They grab Goodbye, this. Mid one. And they'll get it. Cuckoo leads in. They've got the telekinesis. Dragon back into the stun. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be your first blood here for TNC as well. Cuckoo won't quite get it. Uphill denying it. Raven says, I'll take it. First blood for the Naga Siren as the rotation is successful. And now we'll see how they react to this. Already, look, the Timber, he's saving the TP by looks of it. He's just walking he's down just to bottom his way down. Realizes that the aggro tries there. Nice juke from Puppy, just manages to dodge the stun with that tether back up to the high ground to mid one. So the lanes were getting. Puppy at the moment, hanging around with mid one. Timber's, he's not even going to miss out too much by looks of it. I think he may miss out a creep or so, as he's he's not quite yet down on the bottom lane. Mid one skilled raise is level one. He's doing quite good in terms of forcing back Cuckoo with the damage that he's thrown out. Yeah, I mean, Puppy's just right... Yeah. They have the obs ward on the high ground, so Puppy's yeah. literally just right-clicking every time he walks up, and with that fairy fire. And, you know, Pugna's not really a high armor hero, too. Gets bullied quite heavily from that. So, this is where Shadow Fiend, of course, can do super, super well. I mean, he's got yes. his IO backing him up. So, we'll be able to watch how Puppy maximizes with this, make sure he's always stacking. That's the one big thing when you're doing these IO duel lanes with Shadow Fiend. 
got to go stack those double camps. And they didn't actually cut the trees for him to be able to do so. Top lane, MP. He's, he's isolated up here. Are they going to be able to close the distance on him, though? It does seem like they should be able to. I mean, he, he's been left alone. He's all on his own here, this lonely bear. That's going to be another kill for TNC. They take him down. Meanwhile, mid lane secret are trying to get something done in return. As they did bring over... Yeah, so, but they, they didn't quite get the grab on Cuckoo. I think he sells up. Shaker top. Yeah, he's going to buy TP right now, I'm yeah. pretty sure. They're yeah. switching the lanes up. Yep. Priority's up, TP stop. Should be able to get a decent amount of experience anyway, and now they've got the matchup they want. But Sam H does have a TP if he wants to make the way up. Is he going to do it? <laughs> Is Sam H going to stick down it? He's, he's got the level two. He's saved onto that second point. So That's, yeah. He's, he's already got like that, that level ahead, so he, he can kind of play around with MP a little bit better. Nope, they're switching it. Raven they points down. It. Oh, he's going. <laughs> yep, and Rubik too. This is just as expected. You know, you can't have those matchups. It's impossible to deal with. Level advantage just help a bit. But... Sam H into the tree line. And now Kezu gets a free lane during all that too, though. He's like, oh, cool. 11 last hits. Thank you. As soon as he gets up look, there. Look at this. Oh, bottom lane. Sam H is sticking around a little bit. Uh -oh. They want to try and make a go on to MP. They drag him back. MP trying to move back as he slows them down. But there's the root. Raven skills it for the kill. And they'll get it. MP taken down. Maybe expecting that Sam H had already TP'd out, now he'll TP away. I mean, getting involved in a kill onto MP, that they're makes really it just, even sweeter for TNC. They're just leaving MP alone. Either the IO or the Kunk are playing are, around him at yeah, all. Yeah, absolutely. Puppy, question mark. And now MP's making his way toward top. MP's like, okay, well, all right. <laughs> Poor bottom. MP. Left I think, alone. I think, yeah, now that, I think now they should definitely be playing around the air, so I think probably maybe they should have done a little bit sooner, but... They, want, they tried to make the rotation to try to kill the Pugna and punish to get mid one online. Kezu has got that TP, so could head back down to the bottom lane. And indeed he does. He says, all right, we'll switch lanes again. Straight down bottom. He's ready to match up at the, what seems to be at the moment, a 14.37 solo lane on the Rubik. Raven <laughs> has to the side cam. He's making the use of the jungle. So TNC trying to be maximum with their efficiency. And up top, see he's trying to get close in onto Tim's. Tim's playing around with both MP and Yapsaw. Sam H able to get uh, some good creeps uh, farmed under the tower. Here's the way he pushes in. The mid lane matchup, though, of course, being the one that Secret is certainly seeming to, to put a lot of eggs on this mid lane. And it is paying off because mid one is getting a very strong lead here. Yeah. I still wouldn't, yeah, I mean, it's great to have mid one like super leading and everything, but I still wouldn't want to, you know, sack an Ursa for that reason because, you know, Ursa's an early game hero. You don't really want him to be behind. You want him to have a good start so he can just kind of snowball and give your, give your other hero space. And they've made that adjustment, so. Cuckoo now. Pretty aggressive, they're trying to get on him. But with those boots, 380 movement speed. Little Fisher play there from Kezu, making sure that the, the the large cam couldn't be dragged into lane. Nice. To keep control of this wave underneath his tower, get as much as he can, despite not finding the. It's nighttime. The classic TNC smoke move. They did the same thing last game. They've actually done, I think, in, in almost all of their games that I was looking at. Yeah. It's usually between the four and six minute mark, they make that first smoke rotation. Good time to go as well, because they've, they've, they've both got the level three. Yeah. So they've got a lot of potential between the two of them. Puppy can, of course, Ooh, tether back to safety. And yeah, this is going to make it a lot harder for TNC to get away with this play. 1437 is still under the cover of it. Block the camp and get vision of when the Shadow Fiend does farm it as well. Maybe they can still get back in. Yapsaw's there, though, in reaction. Secret are prepared for this sort of play. See if they can hold back. At the moment, mid one's very deep, high up on the, the other side. Yapsaw blocking. The, the route that TNC want to take, and the, they'll have to make it around this Kunker if they want to go for anything. And uh, I'm going to try and go for a bit of harassment onto him. I bring him down to half health. Yep, so those still feeling confident. X marks 1437 back in place. Mid one, maybe seeing if he could get in to try and do something in return. Has got the buff up from Puppy as Puppy tethers across. At the end of the day, we'll just force TNC back, and, and TNC don't find anything successful with the rotation as Secret are prepared. They're still not really helping. MP at all, and it's not like he's falling behind, he's starting to get his farm up, but the thing is that that level discrepancy that we were talking about is that Timbersaw is going to hit level 6 before Ursa hits level 6 by a good margin. He, he's actually going to hit 6 before level 5, so he's going to be able to go for even like a kill onto the Ursa if that's the case. Mid lane. They do get away with the kill. Yeah, yeah they, they get, get the range. X Torrent, and yep. he's able to get the double raise at least. 37 still hanging around in the neighborhood on the high ground, but a lot you can do without Pugna alive. Assassin trying to soak up some levels from the middle lane without putting his own life in danger. 
Uh, Timber has the arcane boots. He's going to be able to rule that lane just a little bit easier now. He can definitely start bullying MP. I mean, yeah. the level two Timber Chin, he's getting closer and closer to six. Definitely starting to feel a bit fearful for MP up here. He does have the salve at least. But yeah, Sam H about to hit six. We might even see a rotation from TNC around that level six to kill the Ursa. Secret. Backing up, shining up, Tim's. Close proximity to this top lane. Has arcane boots as well, so self a lot of potential rotating around and spamming out the stuns to see what he can get stuck into. Six and a half minutes in a three to one for TNC. Overall farm slightly favoring secret, still very close of course. Less than a one thousand would lead. It's nice how much they have their shaker farming for secret. That's the one really big gain that they have like out of everything. It's like okay, Ursa might be a little bit shut down on his farm because of the rotations and because of his two deaths and being left alone, but Kezu, who would be a sacked Earth Shaker, is absolutely free farming. Outside though, MP could be in trouble. 4037 trying to close the gap there. Can't quite get the range for the telekinesis though. They really wanted to make the play with, yeah, yeah. with the Shaker and with the six. They got that grab, it almost certainly would have been a kill. Mid lane, secret still being allowed to keep the pressure on Cuckoo. Is going to get caught out by the torrent, closing in. Oh, the raise up the mark, though. One and off, and now Cuckoo turns around with the crap and may able to pop down Puppy. Oh no, what happened? Did, uh, I think he got like turned. He turned and he slightly missed the raise by a bit, but yeah, Cuckoo ends up surviving. And Puppy to his life. Big mistake there coming out from Secret. <laughs> and now the shrine is up. Is he still with this lead? Their rotation's just been that slightly better. Tim's trying to make a setup here on bottom. Kezu's fairly tanky with 900 HP though, but they're trying to make the aggressive play anyway. Yeah, and we're seeing this early point in route. Certainly allowed to set up some of this this harass. Kezu does have Echo Slam, and I think TNC realized they start to split up. Now with the X marks onto Tim's, looks like the turnaround could be there. Gets dragged back into the torrent. Kezu moving into position, waits out the spike carapus very nicely to them follow through with the Fisher. Tim's, he's still playing around with it. You know, it's an Ixta Sassy, he's fairly tanky. Nice turnaround gets the two man stun. Tim's, he's certainly making them work for it. There'll be another torrent and an X marks up from Yapsaw, so he should have a chance of grabbing this one. And there, once again, is the setup. And they should get the kill with the enchant totem snap. They do bring him down eventually. Not the kill that they wanted on. Puppy might actually get picked up by 1437. Oh. Here he is. Easiest but... kill of his life. Wow. And. The thing is that they wanted to be able to get the Naga there with that type of rotation and with the bait that Kezu was setting up, but unable to do so because of them dancing around. And during that, the two members from TNC, the Pugna and the Rubik, actually come in and steal mid one stack while yes. he's trying to do it. Oh, that's so. Tasty. That's yeah, that's a little bit painful for Secret. But now, bullied a little bit more out the lane. You have the two nulls on Cuckoo and the Arcane boots. Can keep that blast constantly being spammed down any time. P catching up a little bit on that top lane still yeah. still at the bottom of sort of the cause value at the moment but uh, he got his six so he's he at least got he's that in range and he's much safer with the phase boots too Jason, once again from TNC as they smoke up looking towards the mid lane well, mid one's pretty far up right now he's got a lot of stick charges no puppy in the neighborhood only yaps are there to back him up they, they know something's up there I got Rubik's farming mid we're getting wrapped on <laughs> Looks like TNC, no chance of catching them out. Yeah. Secret just being that little more aware now. TNC will continue to move over. And mid one is at the Ancients. Maybe they can find something there. Top lane, Sam H. Fell very low as M MP tried to make a play with the Enrage. Will lead the Timber right back. So has to be a little careful. Does have to get himself back out of there. And he's going to oh. go past the Shrine as such. Tim's caught. They caught Eye of Tim's there. And I think yeah. they actually saw him place the ward too. Puppy to started careful. pinging it. Still rather deep. Mid lane tower. They're starting to do the pressure with the Pugna with the Nether Blast with the rotations from Secret. Yeah, Secret want to try and catch something here. Tim's goes for the stun. Is it going to quite have the range for Puppy? So Puppy will be fine. They've got yep, the X so. on Cuckoo. Yep, looking to set up onto the Pugna. Brings him back. Only drops the one raise down. Now with the Telekinesis, TNC dragging the Shadow Fiend back. And well, in fact, with the ultimate for Cuckoo, he may just bring this one down. And he does. The Fisher not coming out quite in time as Kezu tried to cancel the channeling to save mid one. But TNC get the kill. They may even get more now as well as Cuckoo moves forward, sets up with the decrepit fight into 1437's Fate Bowl. And TNC, at the end of it all, do get the two kills out of the mid lane that they were hunting for. God, I love Pugna. <laughs> the power that you have to be able to turn around like that is, they don't have a lockdown. You have to just really be careful. These life drain is no joke. It's 
150 drain per second. Plus, you have to always remember the decrepify boost. Look, look at this. Yep, so he's just yeah. straight dead after nice one job. decrep last drain. Underestimating the power of the Pugna. Yeah. Seems to be the problem. Kuku also <laughs> underestimating the power of double raise. Yes. Mid one does get the cleanup. Tim's is in the neighborhood, though. Sneaking around, has hit level six, has been dead, and mid one's fairly low. Has to be careful with how he places himself. So Tim's could get the rep around behind him. I think mid one's aware. He's, he's going back. They've focused a lot of attention on this mid lane. They draw, they've been drawing everything kind of away from Raven, who is... A, it's 11 minutes, he's got arcane boots and 2600 gold, just claimed himself a free tower. And this is like the off lane kind of Naga Siren as well. Well, not really, if you go. Tim's, is, it, is he gonna maybe to play around with Puppy? No, he's, he's just gonna TP out. How are the supports levels doing? Let's take a look. We have four on Wisp, it's five on Kunkka, and six and seven on the supports of TNC. It's, it's slow and Yapsor just dies to the blast. The combo That's again. the second time he's done it, isn't it? Cuckoo's just taken him down twice in these plays in the middle lane. Yeah, I mean, one, four, three, seven. There was that. Was there that time to at least get the? Uh, I think he actually did he get the. Maybe he got the X on him, but I, I think no. He got the blast. We just saw that. Was it just the blast drain? Oh wait, no. Sorry, it, it was what Rubik has the X himself. Yeah. Yeah, he has the X himself. And stolen the X. Yeah. yeah. I was like, no way, he just walked up and got <laughs> blast drained again. I mean, it's a possibility. You, you can't underestimate how much damage it really does. And look, Cuckoo's not done. Oh, is he can? He's like, oh. I mean, there's a sentry down. Puppy should be aware. They know he's there. Puppy has to be careful how close he comes. Cuckoo right on the edge of that sentry. Sam H it looks in like the area he's maybe too. not spotted it yet. Yeah, Cuckoo and Sam H looking to close the gap. There's the decrep to set it up. Nowhere for him to tether to. And bam, Puppy is gone. Cuckoo picks up another. Tim's eyes on to mid one. He's keeping eyes on, the, on this mid lane. There's going to be the setup as they go forward onto 1437. Tim's, though, with a beautiful stun. Holds back the two of them. Saves 1437's life. Tim's actually going to survive Ooh, as well as the Fisher does not work out. Puppy, he's the only one there, but he'll be held back by the spike carapace as Tim's can walk it off. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, guess who's back? It's Cuckoo with the life drain, making a go on it, bringing him down, but no, the echo slam. Just in time from Kezu. <sighs> That was Stopping close. the Pugna from bringing... If that Echo hadn't come out, I don't think the cast animations would have been quick enough to save that Shadow Fiend. I got scared because he like walked all the way up instead of just throwing the Fissure to stop the life train. Was, good thing it was that, that Puppy was there to heal up mid one. He had nine stick charges too, but he didn't use them. Mid one almost dropped. But with that Dragon Lens picked up, it was quite tanky. Bottom lane. lane. Raven's got to be a bit careful here. P coming forward. Did have the back of a Kezu. The tricorders on TNC are farming very well, though. Timbersaw yeah. leading the charge, but Raven is close behind, about to be picking up that relic. Yeah, he's nearly got it. Very close indeed. Very, very nice start for Raven indeed. You know, pretty much perfect CS, 90 CS at the moment. Mid lane again. Cuckoo and 1437. Can they finish it off? They, they nearly get it. One more to the They do. These guys are playing so well with the Pugna. Just, I mean, we're seeing they normally, you, you talk about the Rubik, not really a hero that offers much damage in these rotations, but you pair him up with the Pugna, and that Fate Bolt, it certainly hits home. Yeah, it's no joke. And especially if he can steal, like, a raise, which he does yeah. have, the long-range raise, that's a, so much burst damage coming out during the Crepper Pie. Mid tower, gonna get blasted down with the next Nether Blast. They've got the Blink on Kezu, though. There we go. As you say, the tower taken down. They will connect the boat. Kezu being brought in by Puppy with the relocate, but the song comes out. Cuckoo decrypts himself, looking for the walk-off, and he's going to make it. Thanks to Raven turning up just in time, making sure that Kezu couldn't go for the further chain stun. They'll save the Pugna. And that, yeah, that, that's the gold as well done. Raven has the money for the relic. Yeah. He can head off, pick it up. Pugna, it's very close to the Aghanims. Sam H has Bloodstone as well. They've hit all three corner timings at the exact same time pretty much. Well, not the Radiance, but at least they've got the Relic. Yeah, they need about, they've been both the the, yeah. the, the, the Naga about, what, 1,000 away from, from those items. So, okay. a couple more minutes and then they'll, indeed, they'll have those key items when they'll be ready to go. The question is if Secret are going to be ready for them. Big, big plays from Kezu certainly could could flag a big yes. If, if yeah. he hits those Blink Echoes, it can certainly make all the difference here. And they're going to try and do something with it now. Oh, Dire Scan. I think Tim's is they, Ward, they, actually. Did they, they catch it? They are pretty sure they caught, caught one of the heroes of on the side of yeah. it, yeah. They throw the scan, they even drew the line that it looks like Secret's yep. going for that Roche, which they are. And there's a Timbersaw already in the area. Not gonna allow Secret to do this. They need to get the pick off. They might be able to... They might be able to jump onto Zam. 
Sam's kind of on his own here. Chains backward, throws the Shackram out to MP, is pretty low. Kezu jumping forward, will find the control. There's the bring map with the X mark, they drop again, but then just in time, the stone comes out from Tim's. Echo, is it enough to bring down Sam? The Glimmer, Glimmer Cape saves him, and now the turnaround from TNC. They take down the Ursa. Can they get anything more? Cuckoo's gonna be held back by the X mark. Secret blinking themselves out of there. That was so clutch by oh, 1.37. Oh, and Tim's is not done yet either. Comes in with another stun, catches out Yapzor. And TNC Ooh. find another, and Sam H, straight off the back of that Bloodstone, is up to 14 charges. And during that, that's that's time that they spend going look at the, for Look that. at this replay again, Fog. Perfect stun, and as you say, 1437, perfect limit cake. It looked like Kezu didn't want to have to expend the Echo Slam to try to go for that kill. They were just a little bit reluctant on it, and they end up surviving with it because of that Glimmer Cape, because Steven comes in with a clutch timing, and they're able to clean up MP and a couple extra kills. Beautiful team play from TNC, and straight away they're down the mid lane. They're looking for more, seeing if they can get something stuck in here. Can they get the jump? There we have Decrepify, but the relocate just in time from Puppy. Will buy time for mid one to come back into this refuel. TNC will back up. During all that time, though, like I was saying, uh, that was time while well, Ravens is free farming, so Radiance is finished. He's got it. So, Secret trying to make that aggressive play on the Timber Saw is definitely going to bite them in the butt quite a bit. Tim's eyes on Kezu. Kezu. Entirely watched by Tim's. I wonder if they can go for anything. They are bringing 1437 across, but still rather deep. Tim's is on the high ground with Kezu. He's going to go for it here. here. Uh, opening up now that 1437 can close the gap. And i tell you what, the timing there was absolutely perfect. He'll throw back down a Fisher. Uh, in fact, 1437 with the stolen fish, he's kind of blocked Tim's in. Tim's is like, no, not like this. And Tim's, he will get taken down. 4037 in trouble as well as MP will f chase him. They've got the X mark onto Cuckoo. Secret this time, looking for the cleanup. They have the Requiem, but oh, Cuckoo's going to be safe. The song comes out. Raven buying time for Cuckoo to get out of there. And Sam H, he wants to fight. Comes into the midst of it all with the Chakram. Burst down Puppy. MP will be able to blink down and chase down Cuckoo to finish off the kill at the end of the day, despite Raven's best efforts to save. So Secret will get the favorable trade there. They do take down three, securing that Pugna at the end, down to the fact that MP does have that blink on the Ursa. Yep. MP getting himself into a good stride. Mid one as well. Getting closer and closer to that BKB, which will make it much easier for him to fight versus that heavy magic damage. Oh, MP though, he's come for this rune, and Tim's was there ready and waiting, ready to punish. MP is going to try and run himself he's out. Got as well. Quite get the rune. Yes, they do. They still get it, but there we have it indeed. Pops it off with the ultimate. And now with the Shrine there, this is hard for TNC to fight around. Tim's, he's sticking around, maybe a little too long. Turns around with the stun to hold back MP, but the Urn of Shadows ticking him down. He'll have Spike Carapace back up in a few seconds, but it's not going to be soon enough as MP jumps forward, claims the next Assassin's life as well. Oh, you see what MP's going for? He's going for a Midas. Midas. He's got it actually finished. Okay, so he doesn't fall behind since he's playing versus a Naga lineup. He wants to always be relevant in the game. I don't even mind this at all when he's playing around with the Shadow Fiend. It's a bit late, of course, it's 18 minutes. But, I mean, he wants to be able to stay an actual driving force if he's going to be the one that's running around ganking. It's, you know, they're, it's a Shadow Fiend lineup. The Shadow Fiend is your true core. Mid one. Mulling down. There's two one in the mid. 1437 trying to set up with the Glimmer Cape. Gets yeah, X to get the steal on the X. He steals his own, though. He can self he can himself. It. Oh, he don't get quite time. get the timing right. Will get caught out by the torrent. But look at this. Cuckoo giving him his life force. Saving him there with the life drain. Making sure the secret couldn't move in for the further kill. 1437 yeah. will be safe. You see what he's trying to do though, right? If you like, if the X, X mechanic, away. yeah, you can X and you can break the X as it happens. This so, as well, TNC cool. ready to go, smoking up. Ready to try and make the players five. Yeah. How's the song looking? If we got it nearly back up, we, it's, it's up. back up. So if it goes oh. to pot, they can get out of there. They might actually be able to get MP too. No, MP knows something's up. They see that the wave, well, TNC wants to get this tower because the wave's already here, yeah, but they, they want to get catch more. It. Look at that timber chain. Sam H just beautifully closing the gap. MP is going to take a stun to the back as oh, TNC lines it up perfectly. Fantastic Nyx Assassin play, and they're going to get more. The Stolen Fisher out onto Kezu, sets up for a second for TNC. Nice smoke, very aggressive play. Like, they wanted to go bottom to be able to push the tower because the lane's pushing in, like, naturally toward it. So they're like, oh, we can get a tower off it, but getting two kills too. Very nice penetration play. Top lane, Sam H, looking nice. to punish he's Puppy. looking for Puppy. Puppy is, is going to be he's gonna be left away. No, or is no he? Sam H wants it. He's hunting for it. Puppy trying to duke it out. Oh, the damage. He's not got enough stick charges to get out of that one. Sam he's up to 18 Bloodstone charges. Things getting better and better for him. Mid one being eyed up by Tims. Does now have the BKB on the Shadow Fiend. Along with that Dragon Lance. So certainly feeling a little safer.
Yeah, BKBs are going to be very important for him to actually take the fights, but once those BKBs start ticking low, it gets a lot harder yeah. too. And they have great ways to force BKBs, be it a decrepit fire, like a Nyx Assassin stun. Mid lane TNC still standing strong, ready to push down a tier 2. Cuckoo, of course, Axe, I believe, on its way out right now on the courier. Yeah. Going for a Yules for himself afterwards too, so he can not have to worry so much about that X catch. And give himself a real save mechanic too, other than Decrep. Secret can get and grab it, Yapsil's back. Get any sort of X marks is so hard with Raven in the neighborhood. Any attempt from Secret will be halted with the song. He acts out. He's the Fisher stolen. Drain. Fisher to set this up, and indeed with the life drain and the vapor, he's just gone. Not even a chance to pop the BKB and save himself there. He wasn't even decrep during either, any of that. That was all just straight magic damage. And they make that. it more. Puppy tried to relocate. Mid one out X, to the though. high ground. He's coming back. They will time it nicely. Indeed. Yep. So using the X to save Puppy. But the tier two in the middle lane's gone. TNC with a wave pushed up top can look to take another. And they're starting to run away with this game. 22 minutes in. 12k gold lead. And it's not if they're on some sort of timer as well. They have a Naga Siren with a Radiance. And a Timber who's absolutely, absolutely massive. massive. Yeah, exactly. Tim's set up a bar has the Spike Carapace, but Vempy closing in. Can they get him the Stolen Fisher? But it's not oh. going to work. Kezu jumps in with the Echo. May get punished for this, though. He gets brought back into the Decrepify Life Drain. Kezu's down. TNC are too. looking oh, for yeah. more Bobby. Raven. He's caught two of them. Sam H lays down the Chakram. Fisher comes out, but it's not going to be enough. That's going to be a second down. The boat flies through, but Sam H protected himself for the time being. As TNC are just taking full control of the game right now, and Secret cannot slow them down. What is the plan from Secret? How do they deal with a, a side that is this far ahead at this stage and with the heroes they have? <sighs> they're just getting, they're losing, I mean, they've lost all their buildings. They're just getting ran at now at this point. I mean, I, I did, you know, I, I did like the Midas if they were able to take fights with it and everything, but looking to be pretty painful because they're not able to play around the Shadow Fiend's BKB. So MP is just getting further and further behind, even though he went for it. They're just not allowing him to actually catch up. TNC is just playing too fast paced. They're not really letting Secret get what they need in these type of engagements or really letting them do any pretty much anything they don't have good kill options because whenever they do it's like a sleep comes through or whatever i mean it feels strange to say that as well doesn't it saying that yeah. tnc are playing fast paced when they have a naga lineup yeah it's it, it just goes to show how well they're doing in a situation where i mean raven's obviously turned up and we've seen some great saves for him but the reality is of it that the, the four heroes without the naga can still just do so much and the fact that you've got raven that's absolutely on par to, to farm at any sort of rate that you'd hope a naga siren to be doing at it's just a super bonus for TNC. I mean, yeah, they've got 100% map control. Yeah. They like, Secret's map is pretty much just right outside of their base, and TNC has 90% of the map to farm. Raven literally just continuing to just farm like every camp in the jungle. I mean, their towers are actually like untouched too. Top tower 1400, mid tower is 90 HP. That's the one tower. It isn't the night range, but everything else untouched. What else is he doing item wise after that BKB? He's actually looking to just go for straight damage. He's got the, the Crystalis, in fact, uh, queued up. He was the. I want to say that mid one was the like, kind of innovator when Shadowfiend was getting popular on yeah. Kiev Major. He would do the like Dragon Lance into Butterfly BKB. Just straight damage. He's still going to need quite some time, though, to really get that damage to a point where. You know, these heroes like like this like the Pugna, I mean like all three of the cores really are gonna feel much threat from it. Up top, Tim, seeing if he can get a catch onto either of the supports. We'll find the stun onto the app store. And with 1437 sliding in, he's gonna look to try and close it, but there's the save. Puppy will take Yapsor back to safety. I mean we saw obviously in game one, Secret dealing with the fact that TNC had a lead. And they just played it, they they they, they played it, they slowed it down, and they were able to take it late and just punish the the sort of late game desperation plays of TNC the question is if they can can they do that when the lead that TNC has is just so much greater I mean sure TNC were slightly ahead in game one but I think it was only like ever like an 8k gold lead this time it is a 16k gold lead and it's such a such a bigger deficit the secret are at this time
and this game they also have the they have an, yeah. the super late game with the Naga Siren, and they actually have a tower siege. The last game they suffered because they couldn't break that melee racks. This time they do have the Pugna, who can actually just force, force, force with those heavy frontliners, be it the Naga, be it the Timber Saw. Twenty ch charge Bloodstone on Timber with the Plate Mail Yules. Very hard to bring down. Poor Secret. X Mark. He's got the Yules. Try and set up lots of and DJ. Just plays around it. Can't be brought back into the combo. Very hard to catch a target with that Yule Scepter now. And during all this, they're keeping Secret in their base mm -hmm. while Braven free farms and also pressures bottom. Yeah, Raven's nearly, nearly got the odds in. Just needs to finish off the second half of that Mystic Star. And it's then just the pressure's keep... just. It's going to be even heavier with those illusions. Send one illusion bottom, yeah. send two, one or two mid, maybe send one to the jungle, just keep that farm. But the Echo oh, Slam. Oh, he just jump in. Kezu looking to set up. They have the torrent to follow through as well. The song comes through, but they have lost the Pugna. TNC looking to escape, but Yapso, he's outside the song and still manages to get Tim's with the X mark, drags him back in secret, thanks to the jump in from Kezu. We'll get both those kills. They'll knock TNC back. They'll get them away from the base, free up a bit of the map. A secret for the first time in a few minutes are finally able to come back out themselves. Yeah, they really needed that to get TNC like out of their base. Like, look at the wording from TNC. They are literally just trying to trap secret there. So, very good opportunity seized by Mr. Kezu. Just look at they go. P. Puppy. Will they be interrupted? That's the question. There's still a Timber in the game, and Sam H can certainly try and get involved. He may just do that. TP's coming across to the pit. Roche and falling very, very low, though, and Secret will secure it. They'll get Roche, they'll get the Aegis. Stolen Torrent comes out, though. Connects onto both MP and mid one. Forces mid one to put the BKB. MP with the Enrage and Runaway. As he looks to get out of this mid one, revs of the ultimate. Good connection onto Cuckoo. Turns and with the damage of the Chrysalis, bringing him down low. Kezu trying to close the gap. There's the bring back into the Torrent. Gets the magical damage through the Decrepify as they bring down the Pugna. Raven now looking for Kezu. Stolen Torrent once again from 1437, holding the Shaker in place. They'll get themselves another. Mid one's going to go for the TP out. He's not going to make it, though, Stun. Flies through from Tim's, zip forward from Sam H. As Puppy is also in a whole world of trouble, gets cut down. Double kill for Sam H. So, secret, they may have got the Aegis, they may have got the Roche, but TNC getting three big kills and straight away are ready to pressure the high ground. Yeah, the Cuckoo died at least, but yeah, the damage is too much from this Timber Saw. He has no fear whatsoever, as he shouldn't. He can just walk in. He's got Shiva's finished up whenever the Courier can deliver it to. He is a force to be reckoned with. The question is, do we see any buybacks? Mid one's holding on to his. He's down for 30 seconds. They've got a fortification secret. The TNC, there's the dragon. 1437 slides in again with the stolen torrent to follow up the telekinesis. MP's gone. Aegis out of his hands. They'll take him down once. Now with the respawns, it looks like TNC are happy just backing up. They have that tier three. They can open up the shrines. 1437 picks up a blink dagger. A TNC, is, as we're seeing, still, despite losing that Roshan and Aegis, still very much showing their dominance with this 16k gold lead. Yeah, they just walk up the high ground there. You can see up to mid one. Of course, yeah, Cuckoo does die, but, I mean, Ra Raven is already starting to get to the point where he's too farmed. The Octarine will be finished up. We've seen this fight is only Soul Booster, but they're so damn strong. That stolen Torrent, Torrent as well, was super clutch yeah. there by 1437. He got two big Torrents, Torrent plays to help his team clean people up. I mean, he really is having a great game, 1437. He really seven, is, one seven and nine. nine. Yeah, he's been owning. <laughs> Not only just his warding, like he uh, invaded very early and got early deep wards, but he's the one like guiding the team, like making the plays. You can see like he's the one drawing the lines. He's the one making the call to make those aggressive plays. And he's gotten himself a couple solo kills too. It's been a very impressive play by 1437 this time around on the Rubik. Tim is down bottom, actually setting up a little bit onto mid one there, but the spike Carapace catch out. Brings him down to half health. Kezu looking to punish, jumps forward with the Fisher. There's the Yules holding the back. Kezu goes in, pops down the Echo Slam, bringing Tim's down low, but there's the save from Cuckoo with the life drain, keeping the Nyx Assassin alive. They'll be able to back out, and that is Echo Slam used and down. No, it's, it's a little that's success. Secret's like big way of actually doing stuff. They used BKB as well on the Shadow Fiend. And he's not even full souls on SF. He's bottom racks. Looking in trouble. Secret, can they hold? 
without these components that they require for this team fight. Sam H being forced back, Yapsaw, teasing around with the potential of getting the catch with an X mark. God, they can barely even they can barely even bring down this timber saw at all. Even if he's oh, super this, hard. 14, 37 coming in with a catch onto Yapsaw. Zip forward from Samich as he pops the Shiva's guard. They've taken down Yapsaw on the Kunka. Can they get more? Mip one trying to turn with the raises, but the roots out. Shakram's there. There's the sleep from Raven. Buying some time for TNC to reset, wait around the Enrage, waiting out that ultimate from MP. MP does have the BKB though, pops it, ready to continue, looking for Tim's, but Tim out to the sidelines, they don't have vision by the looks of it, Tim's is going to be able to walk this one off. Raven moves forward with the route onto Puppy, finally they kill off the Nyx Assassin with the raise, but the space is being created for TNC to continue sieging this bottom lane of Rax, as Sam H just goes forward with the Timber Chain, keeping Secret Force back towards their fountain, and TNC should indeed get this moment. They're so close, they're not actually going to stick around for it by the looks of it. Secret will will actually get them away before they finish it, or maybe it's the double bait back. TNC looking to head back in. Shakram off target, but the pullback does catch upon all four of Secret. BKB's come out from mid one. Revs at the Red Queen, but Sam H is already down to the bottom tree line. Timber chains across, looking to control MP. MP pops the Rage. Sam H trying to waste his time as he uses himself oh, up, him. but he gets bursted down. That's going to be the Timber hitting the decks that finally they do get the racks. How heavy can Secret make TNC pay for it though? Raven with that Octarine reduced cooldown, Song's back up. Cuckoo's able to TP out of there and Raven now looking for the retreat. Jump forward attempt from MP, but Raven's already too far away. So a little scrappy, but the TNC do get the job done at the end of the day. They get those racks. Yeah, they give up a little bit of gold, but yeah, it's the, the racks is the big deal. And I mean, Sam H loses some Bloodstone charges, but he respawned pretty much instantly and continue to push the lanes out. And yeah, the advantage still continuing to be TNC, 18,000 gold lead. Absolutely. I mean, as you, we've been saying, Sam H is just, yeah, absolutely nailing it this game. Yeah. 6-1-6, six, six. Raven as well. He's, I mean, as you mentioned in the other game, you know, this seems to be a team that if you have the player cards, you're gonna get big points on these boys. They I'm don't, you, they don't feed, <laughs> they get good KDA. Look, Raven, they, Raven they're, they're always the involved in so many team fights. Yeah. So much fighting for this, this, this team TNC. They're playing a lot more coordinated than Secret, though, that is for sure. Yapsor is having a very rough game, which seems to be a pretty telltale sign when Secret actually does struggle quite a bit with these type of lineups, too. When it's like required that he has a good impact in the game, and he's just unable to because of the, the unfortunate deaths he had versus the Pugna in the mid lane a couple times. Just set him back a lot. Timberson now has a full solar crest. <laughs> so certainly, yeah. This so more armor and ways yeah. to deal with the Ursa and the Shadow Fiend's physical damage. Nearly level 25 as well on Sam H. Yeah. He's going to be the first one by yeah, a lot. By a mile, yeah. Yeah, because he did the 20% XP too. Yeah. It's the Manta done for Raven. Wow, I actually, I thought somebody else was like almost level 20, or like level 20 or 21, but no, yeah. The next highest is mid one at level 19. Oh, Kezu does jump in with the Echo. Oh my goodness! Hey, man, Tim's with the stun there, holding the bat for the time being. Cuckoo's gonna get the chance to sell fuels. I mean, they will still lose Cuckoo. They're gonna lose Tim's as well as MP jumps forward. But it was a neat little play from Tim's actually getting the stun on the relocate and doesn't really add up to much as Secret still get the job done. Secret's still showing life, showing that they can still make the aggressive plays when people are split up. They Seize that opportunity as soon as they saw Naga mid and they saw two heroes set up top. You know that the resources were split up. I'll see the replayer again. Oh, they actually just get the wrap on. They didn't see anybody. I thought they'd actually seen like maybe one person, but no, they just go straight in. But they do have the number advantage, four heroes in comparison to no, three. But they get the initial jump on Cuckoo, which is what matters, and Sam H wasn't there in time. Yeah, 1437 was a little uh, unfortunate with the spell steal as well. Only got the enchant totem. Say so he got a Fisher there, or maybe even the, you know, if he got the Echo, could have walked in and maybe had the potential to turn that. Just uh, got the got pretty much the least useful one from uh, Kezu's yeah. armory. I mean, Fisher's probably the much more useful. Like, Echo is just the damage. Unfortunately, if you only sure, if you, you got Aftershock, that'd be yeah, sick, but... Yeah. I guess enchant totems are right if you have the Axe. Actually, no, to be fair. You don't really want to be jumping in as a Rubik. <laughs> Doesn't even stun if you just jump in yeah. and die. Well, I mean, we saw Secret do it game one, as I say. But this time it is pretty much double the lead that TNC had in game one, yeah. where they, they still lost. They are itemizing well, though. We see the double defusals yeah. coming out for uh, mid one and MP, so they're able to remove that Pugna Decrep. Not only just the, it's not only just for the Pugna Decrep, I mean, that's the clear one, but it's very good versus the Timber Saw to remove that Yule Scepter, too. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, 
she has that MKB, and mid one is, is certainly going to be punching. A lot of damage on Shadowfin. Of course, MKB absolutely required, as we mentioned, with Sam H having that further crest. Yeah. And Naga eventually probably flip Butterfly, yeah. right? Eventually, maybe. We've seen a little bit of variety in builds. Well, we haven't really seen too many Nagas, but we've been seeing, we've been, we have seen different type of build. I actually haven't seen Naga win a game in a long time. I've just, I've just not seen Naga at all. Yeah. It was picked in another game, wasn't it? I believe uh, didn't Cloud9 play it? I think, yeah, Cloud9, Cloud9 played, played it, it, and that was the last yeah, They lost with it, didn't they? I want to say Pretty yes. sure they lost with it. That what point booster? We're going to be looking for the Ags next on on Sam H. Would would be the, the likely. I don't think he'll buy an Iscotti. No. <laughs> Lots to see it, but <laughs> certainly going to be eventually working its way towards. Yeah. When you have this many Bloodstone charge and you're so farmed, like the double chakra, you have the mana sustain for it. Sims is going to get caught out by this, but it's a bit of an awkward position for Secret to get to. Can't really get the way around the cliff. It'll be fine. Super slow sieging going in from Raven. It's just sending in illusions to hit those towers. But of course, with the the various nerfs that we've had over time, it's very slow indeed. TNC actually going to smoke up. They get wall control off that high ground. They know that they're they're going to be able to do this pretty undiscovered. They want to try and enter the base from the from the bottom where they've taken this tier three. And this it could be quite effective if they can get the catch before those BKBs come out mid one. Would be the perfect target heading forward and there he's going to get caught out straight up with the telekinesis can puppy saving me. Come on, get him right away. Gone. Perfect catch for them to find their TNC. He's down for 70. He does have buyback. TNC could do a good job at trying to force this out of him. They'll head straight towards the mid lane. As they'll look to try and take a second set. They'll finish off that range racks first by looks of it down bottom. They clean out the bottom lane. Sam H is already there in the middle. Will mid one be forced to buy back? He's down still for 50 seconds. Secret, how much can they do is just before they do have Echo Slam. Kezu under the cover of the Shadow Blade, waiting for the opportune moment to jump in. But look at Sam H, he's just moving forward, forcing Secret back away from this Rax. As Cuckoo lays down the ward, slowly gets in there with the blast. Bit by bit, they'll start to take it down. 1437 with the telekinesis onto MP. The life train going to work, bringing MP down to less than half of his life. Roots out onto Yapsor. He's in trouble. They're moving with the root. Kezu, oh, he whiffs the echo. It catches no one. Kezu's down for a minute. Kuka will be jumped upon, but he uses himself up by his time. Raven's there trying to save him. Oh. And he's self decrepify. Kuku's going to live. MP can't quite finish Kuku off. Gets decrepify, gets Glimmer Cape. He gets saved. And now there's the turn. Telekinesis into the life train, bringing him down low. Stolen. Fisher comes out, they'll bring down MP. Now they turn towards Puppy, getting rooted up, brought down, triple kill for Sam H. There'll be the buyback on MP. Mid one is back, but the rest of the three members of Secret do not have buyback. They're in a lot of trouble here. TNC looking like they can close this game two out. Mid one in trouble as he gets the PKB out in time, and MP has brought down one. Finds Cuckoo. Tim's getting dropped low as well, but again, 1437 with these Glimmer Capes, keeping his team alive. MP goes back in, does get the clap, will find the the kill onto the Nyx Assassin. The damage is done. But they've Mid lost one. the Shadow Fiend, and indeed the base is looking to be in absolute shambles. Yeah. Yeah. Mid one not even buying back. Yeah, he has it up, but. Okay, now he does he go goes. for it now, but. All right. It, yeah. Can they actually get this kill? I mean, look how tanky Sam H is. He's got so much armor. They're trying to force him away, jump forward. The, the MP has to run. He's got to be so careful that this Timber just does so much more for us than he does to him. They will drag him back. They're, they're, he's going to kill himself. He says, you can have my life. We've got mega creeps. I'm not giving you any gold. I'm not giving you any XP for any sort of chance of catching back into this. A secret of backup. They will hold in on this game. But the mega creeps are out for TNC. And at a 31,000 gold lead, can Secret really turn this game around? We, we saw them do it with a, a very minor advantage going TNC's way in game one. But this time round, it's looking pretty much impossible. This should yeah. be TNC walking this one home. Definitely. And we do even see, look at this. Naga Siren building Dagon. Building a Dagon on Naga. Hey, this time it's a little different. He's with the Pugnus. So he's is. got the Decrepify bonus damage with the Octarine. It's super low cooldown. And as we've seen, mid one is barely even able to get his BKB off if he gets chain stunned. So it does, you know, it's... They, you know, the game's kind of over anyway. They have Mega Creeps, but it, it, it's pretty good this time around with another button. It's, with the, it's, it's a bit of a... The pug it's, it's good. Puppy? <laughs> He's got relocate. Off he goes. Portals it out of there. Is Kunkka there for him? Yeah. So Yaps was there to axe him up. Lincoln's on 1437. Building those luxury. Still sensible items, you know. Oh, they got the Yules on him. Oh, they caught him. 
Oh, Puppy! Caught out indeed. That yours to counter the X mark play. Smart moves from TNC. Nope. No that buyback does. on Puppy. Down for 45. TNC, they're chilling though. They're, they're, I think they're probably enjoying this. They're like, we're 31k ahead. You guys have lost the game. We're just going to go and suck off Roche. You know, just yeah, chill just out. Just hug the things. Yeah, with the lads. Uh, yeah, no way to quickly get over to this one. But the, the, the Ravens are probably saying, lads, let me finish off my back on fire. Hey, he's close. Getting get there. What can Secret do? Can they do some sort of miraculous comeback? It really feels like the world is against them now in this game. It's just way too hard. Yeah. It's, it, it actually is just way too difficult. This Timber Saw is pretty much unkillable. They have to isolate him with four heroes to bring him down. Here we go. Ready to come in, TNC already in the base, they smoke up, there's the jump board, have the telekinesis, but he does get forced back, MP will be safe. But now, at least Kezu trying to move forward, but the Radiance is going to cause issues for him, trying to make that sort of blink initiation. Now he's ready to look for an opening, comes forward, there's the jump, gets the echo, but again, it only clips onto the timber. BKB in the red cream comes out from mid 1437 slides down to the low ground, Puppy moving forward on the front lines, but they've already lost Japsaw. MP trying to work into Cuckoo, Cuckoo keeping himself up with the life drain, but oh, he's going to survive! Cuckoo doesn't quite go down, mid one gets taken out close towards the base, Raven sings the song of celebration as GG is called. TNC take game two and secret tap out. What a performance from TNC as they, they absolutely blew secret away with this one. This was an incredible performance from TNC as well. Yeah, I think it was a very good performance from TNC. I think secret made a, a lot of mistakes in this game, honestly. They played a lot, a lot around the Shadow Fiend, but they weren't really able to secure him because they were just making like moves all over the place on the map and a couple mistakes adding up. TNC overall just definitely playing better, but the lane's coming out way far ahead. Like Sam H, yeah. they pick Ursa into Timbersaw. So you're like, okay, Timbersaw is gonna, if they can make that matchup, Timber can really, really shut down. Sam H went completely out of control because they dodged the matchup over and over again to where MP was so far behind. Silence in the room at Secret. They're definitely feeling pretty you, upset. You like, said they weren't yeah, happy they weren't with happy day yesterday. one. They're not going to be too happy with the start. I mean, they, they got one win, but losses like this and even the game one win, it was it was very close. Yeah. They are going to need to step it up a little bit as the show goes on and TNC continue to impress after what was a commanding day one from themselves. Yeah, Three how did Raven there? end? Raven ended 8-0 and zero this game. I mean, this and... game, there was not a lot of deaths on the side. TNC, what do we have? We had 8-1-17 on 1437's Rubik. Of a standout once you're 8 0 16 on Raven and 11 to 11 and 11 to 11 on Sam H's Timber. 1427 owned this game too, yeah. though. So big props to TMC, they had some, some really good movement around the map this game. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Second series of the day done here on Stream A. It will tie up as TNC secure the second game. Uh, myself and Fop are going to be back for another one. What have we got next? We've got some, we've got some Jackie Mao action, haven't we? Yep. This one is the next one's VP Cloud 9. VP Cloud 9. There, there, I know you guys aren't going to go anywhere, so I don't need to tell you to not go anywhere, but I'm going to tell you anyway, don't go anywhere. We'll see you soon for more Dota 2 here at the TI7 group stages. Cloud 9 versus VP up next.